Oh, hey guys! Jordy here with Lacey Parks and Recreation. During this time of quarantine and isolation, we understand it can be hard to come up with ideas to do with your friends and family inside your own homes. That's why we at Lacey Parks and Recreation want to bring the ideas to you. We call it Isoplation. Get it? Over the next few weeks, we're going to be posting videos of different things that you can do at your home, like crafts, sports, fitness, maybe even some games. It's going to be fun. We hope you tune in, and we hope that you're well. Hi, guys. We're back again with Desiree. I'm Jordy. And we're here today, we're gonna to do a quick little version of some Pilates. For those of you who don't know what Pilates is, Pilates is typically done on machines, but you can also do it in uh, the form of mat, which is very similar to a yoga style movement. Pilates focuses on core strength, on a healthy spine and good posture. So we're gonna go over just a few basic movements today, something just to get you moving a little bit, get your abs working a little bit, and just give you something to do. Ready? Yes. Actually, yes. Okay, so we're gonna start on our mat. If you don't have a mat, you can just use the floor, or carpet, anything. You want a little bit of padding because we're gonna be doing some rolling movement. So you wanna protect your spine just a little bit. So we're gonna start with our feet flat on the floor. Hands are gonna hold onto our knees. We're sitting nice and tall with that nice pretty posture. And we're just gonna start moving our spine a little bit. So I want you to exhale, you're gonna tuck and roll back just as far as you can go with keeping your hands and your knees and your feet flat on the floor. Get that nice C shape through the spine. Then we're gonna inhale, come back up through the tall position and then lift our chest toward the ceiling into a little bit of extension. So here you can pull against those knees to give a little bit extra and then round back down. So we want this movement to be the pace of our breath. So we're gonna exhale back and inhale up. We're just getting that spine moving a little bit, getting those low abs engaged. How's your low back feel, Jordy? Real tight. Oh good, so she needs this. As you exhale and roll back, really think of pushing that low back toward the floor as if you're trying to touch your low back to the mat. It obviously won't touch. If it does, maybe call a doctor. <laughs> but just get that movement through that low back. And as you lift, you wanna think of that sternum right in the middle of the chest, really lifting toward the ceiling. Get that extension through that upper back. A Couple more here. So this, you can stay here as long as you want. If this feels good, which it, it should, you can stay here as long as you want to get that back warm. You can add some rotations, but we're gonna move on because we don't have a ton of time. So in this next exhale, we're just gonna slowly roll ourselves all the way down to the floor. You can walk yourself down with your legs or you can just roll to your mat and we're here. From here, we're gonna start a quick little ab series. So we're gonna bring our right knee in to the chest. We're gonna hold on with both hands, one on the outside, one on the inside, and we're gonna roll up in our head and shoulders. Our left leg is gonna reach straight out in front of us, so this is our starting position. From here, we're gonna inhale twice, two little inhales. We pull our knee in, one, two, then exhale, switch our legs. Pull one, two, and switch. So a modified version of this, if this feels like too much, you can bring the knees in together at the same time and then switch. If you want a little bit extra, you can have both legs out at the same time and then switch. So I'll have Jordy do the modified version. We can go to the other one, good. So every time your knees come in, I want you to roll up a little bit higher, really keep those shoulder blades off the floor and we're breathing again. So we inhale, then exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. A couple more here, good. From here, hold the leg you have into your chest, reach it straight up toward the ceiling. You can hold high, you can hold low. If you have tight hammies, you can give a little bend in that knee. From here, same little movement. We're gonna inhale, pull that leg in, then exhale, switch. Inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. Nice, straight, strong legs. Toes are reaching away from us. Shoulder blades stay lifted off of the floor. Nice little switch. To make this one a little bit less, both legs can come up to the ceiling and then you can switch. You can make your movement just a little movement, tiny little scissors. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, the further away from your body that the legs pass each other, the harder it'll be. Little switch. A couple more here. Great. Bring the knees into the chest, slowly roll down to the floor. And then we're gonna place our feet flat on the floor. Hands are next to our bodies, palms are facing down. We're gonna slide our heels in close to our hips. We want our knees to stay about hip width apart. So about the size of a fist in between those knees. 
and from here we're going to roll up into a bridge. So we want to tuck through our pelvis, feel that low back flatten against the floor, and then slowly roll our hips up. And you want to roll the hips up until knees, hips, and shoulders are in a nice long line. We're going to inhale at the top, then exhale, slowly roll back down. And you want to think of your spine as a, a string of pearls. So every little pearl is going to hit one at a time, really getting movement in between each little vertebrae in your back. So we inhale at the bottom, exhale, tuck, slowly roll up. We pause at the top, take an inhale, then exhale, slowly roll it back down. And really focus on keeping the legs at that hip width. The knees are gonna try to open wider at the top or you're gonna roll to the sides of your feet. So you wanna keep your foot nice and flat, keep your knees hip width apart. Exhale up. How we doing, Jordy? Super great. Good. This should feel like a little massage in the back while getting nice work for your glutes. I'll do a couple more here. Roll it up. Nice, slow, controlled movements in both directions. We're pausing at the top to make sure we're not rushing through our movement. We wanna really just get that movement through our spine, make our glutes do some work. One more. So again, all of these movements you can do for a longer set if you wanna do them with time or you can do them with number of reps, however you wanna create it, you can do it. If you wanna do them quick, how we're doing it, a quick little five minute intro, you can do that as well. Lastly, we're gonna reach both legs straight out, reach our hands up overhead. On the inhale, we're gonna float our hands up toward the ceiling. Once our hands come above our shoulders, we're gonna tuck our chin in toward the chest and slowly roll all the way up, reaching over to those toes, get that nice little stretch. You want to finish your exhale, then slowly roll back up, restacking our spine nice and tall. Then exhale, slowly roll it back down, nice and controlled. Hands go back overhead. We take an inhale, float our hands toward the ceiling. Exhale, tuck our chin to the chest and slowly roll it up. Really pressing your back into the floor as you roll up. If you need a little bit of assistance in this movement, it's not always the easiest movement. You can use a little bit of momentum from your arms, or you can bend your knees, and you can exhale, roll up, grab behind the knees, and then just straighten them out to that stretch. So you wanna get that stretch to the hamstrings, make those abs do some work, get some articulation through the spine, make it nice and good. Let's do one more, for good measure. Back, inhale, float the hands up. Exhale, tuck, roll all the way up and over. Really hug those legs. Love your legs. Roll up nice and tall. Beautiful, excellent job. Woo. That was good. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you guys for joining us today. If you give this a try, let us know. This is a great opportunity to practice some exercise and kind of break up your day. If you've got 15 minutes you can spare in between work assignments, if you've got a TV show you're watching, it's a quick commercial break, maybe even inviting your kids along to try it with you. Just a fun, nice way to get your body up and moving throughout the day. There's a lot of great resources online. If you would like to try a longer class, maybe a more challenging class, we'll post some YouTube channels on our site. So you can check them out and challenge yourself a little bit further than we did today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks.